Hey everybody and welcome back. Guess what time it is? It's all access time. I just got it today. I'm so excited. So go ahead, Don, open it. Don's gonna open it. I'm so excited. Okay. This is supposed to be really good. I, I've seen a couple of previews. Have you? I need There's a, been spoilers? A little bit, yeah. I need a good designs putting out spoilers. And some people in the States get them way earlier than I do, so they uh, they show it off. Ooh, ooh, I see some things already. Let's get this straight. Let's flip it over. So, look at this, Don. I like it. Double the fun plus. Okay, let's get let's get into it and open it. Hurry up, Sue. Ooh, ooh, that is cool. There's an octopus. Is great. Isn't that neat? Sweet tea with Taylor. All right, Taylor, I'm up. Oh wow, that is really nice. Dinosaurs, dinosaurs. Well, this is the one that I saw. I don't know if they go with Noah's Ark though. Dinosaurs? Yeah. No, that's why they're gone. Oh. <laughs> this is really cute. It has pockets that you put the little toys in. I, oh, that's that's nice. what I saw. <gasps> Beatrice is gonna love that. Oh no, my God, no. that looks like a um. Like an aquarium. Actually, it does, yeah. That's really that is neat. Awesome. Seascape silhouette. Beatrice is going to like that one. She loves llamas. And I love crazy quilting, so mm -hmm. perfect combination. <gasps> Fairy house satchets. Oh my God. Oh my God, isn't that cute? That's awesome. Okay, I always love lettering. Ah, oh, finally, Anita Good Design is getting on the key tag. key tag bandwagon. Maybe we'll make one. They do it so well. They just take it's the idea pretty. and make it even better with lace and design. Yeah, loving it's very it. Very pretty. <laughs> Sweet tea with Taylor. Oh, block of the month. I love it. It's kind of wavy. Holy scrap. Holy scrap, Don. I'm at my knit's end. Yes. Uh, procrastinator. I don't give a rip. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's really good. Look at the rainbow. Pretty colors. So Noah's Ark. Oh. It's very well done. It's like a painting. Yeah, wow. Lots of wow. That would be a heck of a thing. I wonder if your mom would like that. Yeah, probably. Diagram of the quilt. See, I love how they lay all this out. I think that's really neat. Numbered the Each blocks. Block. Yeah, so when you're stitching it out, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's cool. Anatomy found in nature. Look at all the colors in this. So beautiful. Soft. It is. Don't say it. No, please don't. <laughs> we just got them quiet so we can record this. SQ. Floriani threads. Oh, I could go to my cabinet and just have a good time with that. I love it that they list all of them. So all the blues, all the grays. The way I have my threads organized, that would be the easiest way because I just pull yeah, out the red drawer and everything. Drawer. I really like funny. that. And look, they tell you the different uh, fabrics, if you want to make it exactly like theirs, and how much you need. How oh, neat. Yep. Yeah. And, of course, how to do each one. Oh, so good. And then each design. So this is really neat. The rainbow, I guess that goes in the middle. That's awesome. Look at the artwork. It's beautiful artwork. Zebra. Zebra, zebra. butt. <laughs> Giraffe. Are we going to pretend to not know any and guess? No? No. It's a lesson. <laughs> Bunny rabbit. Don't say that one. <laughs> Rooster. Rooster. <laughs> Jesus, what were you thinking, Don? Nothing. Shh. Oh, and then how to put the binding on, how to stitch it together. That's awesome. Do you think you could figure out how to stitch it together? Yeah. I think I could probably figure that yeah. out. It's a bit 
fiddly, but it's not hard. Yeah. yeah, and then they've done it so perfectly. Oh, so step by step. This is the one I was talking about. Oh. Anita's Playhouse. And you see it's a pocket. It's a little stuffy guy. And then you put the... Um, Noah, dear. Oh, <laughs> sorry. God. <laughs> I was just going to keep talking through that, but... <sighs> <laughs> okay, let's start again here. I'm not editing it either. So, yeah, you put Noah and okay. all the animals oh, in it's it. it's a little stuffy Noah. Yeah, that's much better. Is that cute? Look at the, like bears. the bears. Book? Book yeah. the bear? Yeah. Is that cute? Look, I love it. What an amazing idea. Amazing idea. Look at all this. It it all this may look complicated, but it isn't really. It's they have just really good instructions. Yeah, I'm loving this. Look at all the list. Now you know what makes it uh easy too. If you don't have Floriani thread, you have a nice list, and there's a lot of companies that do the conversion. You know, you can get mm -hmm. an app for it, and to me, that would make it easier than searching through everything. Yeah, I. Think think that would be like if we wanted to use RA or Madeira, Madeira that would make it you just make a list yep. and then you convert it and write down all your numbers and then go get them. I think that is a time saver. Glitter vinyl. Glitter vinyl? And brown cork. Hey, that's cool. That's really cool. And color scraps. Narrow. Standard applique, design anatomy. I love this. I love that they take it apart and talk about the different parts of it. If you want to learn about embroidery, you know, this this is a lot. This will help you out a lot. Step by step, absolutely Excellent. everything. <clears throat> yep. Excellent instructions. Puffy applique, PA. Hmm. PA. Felted feels just float on. I'm going to look at that. That's a technique I haven't heard of. But I like it. Puffy, puffy. Yeah, look, puffy. That's neat. Oh, and put the felt on the. Okay, I'm loving it. That's so cute. I like the different cork and browns and everything that make the wood planks like that i think that mm. looks really neat step by step oh well yeah, yeah see so it's for children so it's tactile texture so the cork feels different you know than the other fabric that's really cool i think that's neat what a gorgeous color of brown yep and this is how you put it together neat all the instructions yeah, that is really cool. Isn't that pretty? Even just one part of it. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. 3D embroidery. 3D. Oh. Mm -hmm. open. Very clever. And there's an owl. There's a hoodie owl. Okay, that's clever. <laughs> I like that. That's another technique, too. And it doesn't look that hard to do. It'd be a pretty cool little feature on anything yeah windows that you can mm -hmm. open like that oh i think kids would play with that forever so you do the um shutters and then load up your hoop again and then you add them in see it's taped down and then the machine will stitch it in that's, that's fantastic awesome. that's fantastic covered mm. buttons and look and they're looking at the portholes in the boat isn't that cute? That's cool. Wow. So CB, covered buttons. And this is how you do them. I think it's awesome, actually, how to do covered buttons like that. <laughs> I believe that's the elephant's eye. Oh. <laughs> I believe you're <laughs> correct. Let me see. Keeping an eye on you. It's right there. Don wants to keep an eye on you. That's kind of funny, actually. That's cool. It's awesome, okay. as well I as like, funny. I like covered buttons. I think that's neat. It is. I think it, could, it would be a lot of fun mm -hmm. if you had a, anything. Yeah, there it is. Now it's bigger after I put it up to the camera. Darn it. Yeah, it's not hard to do. And what a great look. What a great idea, though, the elephant mm -hmm. eye looking through. Stuffed characters. 
A fluffy man? No, it's Noah. Don't you know anything? Uh, no, <laughs> apparently not. <laughs> So, yeah, you're making stuffies. What's really nice is back in the front. You do the back first and then you attach it to the front. No, yeah, I guess they'd Look, have to be, wouldn't they? Yeah, to the make. Yep. A lot of people would do it just like just with plain. The, the plain, like yellow fabric or whatever on it. But they've gone through the trouble of doing both. Yeah, so it makes it even better. So <laughs> even if you put it in backwards, you can still see it. Oh, That's now we cool. have our characters. Well, I like him. I like the bear. He's cool. Uh, he's got a cute look on his face. Piggies. And a monkey. I need a monkey. I want a stuffy monkey. Okay. He's cute. He's pretty happy with his little life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are really cute. Block designs. Oh, and see, they have all the elements in it. So there's a 3D, a puffy applique, and an applique. applique. That's cool. Nice. I like how they do that. Yeah, that's new. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. I love it. 3D. Mm -hmm. I love it. I think that's really cute. Oh, look at giraffes in the background. Monkey. See the monkey there? It upside down. Geckos. Geckos. Those yeah. are awful cute. And, of course, it's raining. Ooh, the seas. I love the boat. They did a great job. I, I love the different colors and textures yeah. on it. The water is gorgeous, too. Look well, at the stitching the same here. Thing, different textures with the materials. That's really, really awesome. It's a nice look. Fish. Yeah. And then, of course, step by step. So how to put everything together. That was fascinating. I like the new mm -hmm. techniques. I love it. Everything, including the binding, how to sew it together. And then, of course, how to put it on. So awesome. And now it's finished. I think that's a great idea. Okay, Seascape Silhouettes. Ooh, this is coming soon. Christmas? I'm cool with that. Needlepoint stockings. Okay, I'm looking no, forward to cool. that. That might be neat. Yeah, that I think that would be really neat. Oh, there's words in it. Oh, there is. Ah, uh, floral t typography. Oh, it was just a little hard to see. Choose so, happy. okay, what's number two? Lacy Christmas quilt. Pretty. Okay, let's go on to the seascape. I love doing these. The Halloween one that I did, mm -hmm. it, it's just amazing. Oh, my. This would be nice. Isn't it beautiful? Shades of blue. Will you go fabric shopping for me, Don, and get shades of blue? Yep. Beautiful artwork. I can probably pretty much match those, too. That would be cool. Manta ray. Octopus. Look at their gorgeous. I love the silhouettes. So if you look oh. at this a certain way, I missed it the first time. Silhouettes and then one color that pops. Oh, they are all, they're all silhouettes. Yeah. Except for the one. That is neat. That's, that's what that's, makes it stand out. That's a neat way of doing it. That's really cool because mm -hmm. I just saw the fish, but I didn't see the rest in the background. But there's all sorts of things going on in the background. So the sizes are 10 by 10 down to 5 by 5. So that's how they number their sizes. Oh, and then we get to see how to do it. Sharks. Shark. And a dolphin. Yeah, see, in the background. But there's some detail on it. It's not like it's just black. Yeah, because you can see the detail in the dolphin Look, here. Look, on this one on as those. well. Yep. That gives it an extra, hmm. extra dimension. Oh, see all the wavy stuff? So it's the same technique as the landscape everything that we've seen, that I've done. Right. Um, but it's for sea, the ocean. It's awesome. I think we should work on this. I think we should. That would look great hanging in the living room. Oh, turtle is so nice. And see, there's turtles swimming around. Yeah. I really like it. That's amazing. I really like that. I think I like Mr. Octopus, too. Mm -hmm. Eel. I'm a crab. Wow. There's a lot of good detail. Yeah, isn't it nice? 
I know, I know. That's why I keep saying it's like artwork. Oh, this is the scary fish. Oh from yeah, from Finding I, Nemo. Yeah, I remember the little the scary light goes guy. on. Yeah, and then he eats you. So if you see a light when you're oh, hanging around, away. well, yeah, redacted. Uh -oh. I think they do that just for me. You're not supposed to know, <laughs> Don. It's redacted. Oh, okay. Dinosaurs. Oh, realistic dinosaurs. Man, gorgeous thread colors too. Yeah. Isn't that great on a shirt? Oh, that'd be yeah, that's cool. I love it. That would be awesome on a shirt. Yeah, with a lot of detail. Oh my goodness. Realistic stitching. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, so you stitch out the back and then you applique the dinosaur and then you and put then in the all detail. the details. That's what makes it look so awesome. Those are really cool. If you have a dinosaur fan in your family, these would be amazing. Especially on a shirt. I think it's mm. really cool. And if you don't want the background, you can just stitch out the dinosaur. You don't have to stitch out the background, although I think it's fantastic. I, I don't know their names. I know that's a T-Rex. I like them. I like them. Pterodactyl. Oh, that's a raptor. You can tell by his big claw right there. They tap it. A velociraptor. Yes. Very nice. Very detailed. Puffy foam crazy quilt animals. Really? Wow, that's a mouthful. Puffy foam. Oh, they are gorgeous. Llama face. I didn't realize they used <laughs> puppy foam. Pup. Puppy foam. Puppy foam? Puffy foam. We're not oh, scripted. Gecko. <laughs> We're not scripted. We don't read a script. No. That's really a cool idea. That's, I've never heard of that either. That's brilliant and creative. So they show you how to do it. Oh, see, and then the last bit you put on the foam. So the outlines. Outlines are 3D puff. I'm thinking that would yeah. look great. Wow. Mm -hmm. That looks beagle or Beetlejuice. Yeah. I think that would look great. That is really cool. Oh, I like Mr. You Fox. Do that and make mama sweater. Sweater yeah, well, kitty cat. Could and yeah. owl. And then all of the stitches are kind of over that. To give yeah, it that's awesome. To yeah, give it more depth and dimension and make it stand out. I'm impressed. Piggy, moo, coolie moo, coolie moo. It's coolie moo because he's cool and he moves. Chicken, crab. What'd you call me? Rooster. <laughs> Elephant. <laughs> Bunny rabbit. Oh, flamingo. He's got gorgeous legs. I like it. I like it. You know, you could even do these with um, Christmas fabric and make them Christmassy mm -hmm. just uh, easily. I like how they have stitching over top of the Yeah, I said too. that. Yeah. yeah. That's what it, to give it extra dimension. Yep. Very cool. Two th Gecko. Oh, there we go. Llama for B. Coming soon. This is, I love this. Lace applique pumpkins. Ooh. Uh, organs, 3D organza floral arrangements. Okay, that's yeah, cool. Neat. And notebook charms. Okay. I love the sneak peeks. Okay, block of the month. Well, isn't that pretty? It's kind of round. I guess we should start doing them every month. We should. We're a couple behind. Maybe we can make a video, a fast video of all of them. I'll pick fabric that I have lots of and we'll do each block and then put, yeah, look how when you put them together um, and then put them all together. And by the end of it, we'll have a quilt. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> that is awesome. That's that is tricky on the eye. Yeah, that's fantastic. I love this too. They tell you how many blocks of each colors that you need to put it together like that. Mm. I love it. Oh, okay. So that's really cool because it looks like clouds. Mm -hmm. So they did the background here, the same yeah. color. I like the blue marbly material. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? And then yeah. greens. And then greens. Yeah. 
it's like a flower. Oh, that one's cool too. It's amazing what you can do with, you know, blocks that are the same by moving them around and putting different turning them and stuff. And yeah. putting different material mm -hmm. on them. That's amazing. Okay, so na na na. Well, those are really simple to make. Wow. There's not a whole lot. They look amazing though. Mm -hmm. So a couple of applique cups. Simple and beautiful. Okay, needlepoint butterflies. This is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Is oh, isn't that amazing? That's cool. Yeah, that's really neat. That's really neat. All right, I, that's monarch. I'm gonna try that. Okay, embellished words. You guys know me and my fontiness, and I love You're wordy. I love things like that. I love fonts and I love stylized words. See, I think that's amazing. Dreamer. It'd be a nice uh, quick stitch too because it's, you know, motif stitches and yeah. running stitches. That would look gorgeous on anything. You could do something, you know, a light shirt or something that you didn't need a, you know, you can't put anything dense on. Joy, brave, adventure. Yep, happy with that. Folk repeats. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, isn't that nice? Like so that. they're designs that you're meant to repeat. So I could use my repositional hoop. And it's all one color and different styles. Can you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you repeat it? Yeah. And it looks amazing. Oh, so if you don't want to do it, solid you can just do the outlines like a quilting outline that's neat love it i'm gonna try that yes. tools and scrolls i love it oh oh hairdressing that's really nice painting mechanic knitting sewing construction what's that i don't know cooking Oh, grilling. Yeah, the you. Okay, I like those. Turning, that's baking. that's neat. Oh, here we go. Punny button pins. I'm at my knit's end. I don't give a rip. Oh, it shows you how to put them together and in, into uh, make them into a plastic thing. You could also uh, just simply make them into a patch if you don't have mm -hmm. the stuff to put it together. So what's your point? I'm pretty sure pretty cool. everybody should have that. I sweat glitter. I sweat glitter. Oh my God, when I did that video on how to do embroidery on your sewing. Oh, those. there's glitter. The dogs had glitter on it. And yeah. it was just tulle with glitter. Everything was sparkly. Uh, it was lovely, but yeah, I don't give a rip. Well, I'll be darned. That's awesome. So hard or go home. That's a great motto. That's pretty good. That That's fantastic. You rip what you sew. Well, no. Coming soon. Needle cases. Need a little help. Oh, wow. Someone has a good sense of humor over there. Uh-oh, look. Christmas village, village quilt. quilt. Oh, oh so excited. Christmas geo line work. That's gorgeous. That's neat. And support the troops, which is always important. Oh, here yes. we go. Mother's Day keychains. Oh, guess uh, I know what you're going to make, Mom. Yeah, that'll be one thing I'll make. Hope one. you're not watching, Mom. <laughs> she usually does. <laughs> oh, darn it. <laughs> and you got to be careful because we say it on every book. Oh, I could make that for Mom, and we don't make it. Oh, she's she's going to get mad. <laughs> it's Dawn's fault. I did it. Grandma. These are really nice. These are really okay, nice. Well, I know Grandma's not watching. You should make one for Grandma. Okay, there you go. These are really nice. I love it. Ah, they give you a good example of how to do it. The machine, how you organize it on the machine, how you stitch it out. Maybe I'll make one on my machine so you let me have a pair of scissors. Oh, stop it. Oh, this is what I wanted to see. Fairy house. Oh, 45 cute. to 90 minutes. Really cute. Oh, you stuff them with potpourri and stuff, don't you? 
Yeah, that's what a sachet is. Yeah. You could stuff it with chocolates, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're really cute. They're Equal. really cute. Yeah, and a pot. I like this one. With a fairy on it. There's fairy. Well, they're kind of fairy. fairy houses, aren't they? <coughs> okay, I like this one for some reason. I don't know why. The colors, maybe? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's more. Oh, man, these are so cute. I like it. So, not hard to make. You do the front and then you do the back and then you're going to put them together. So, applique. Yep, see, you put them together and stitch them together and then fill them. That's neat. Turn it, look, you just yep. trim, turn, Stuff sew it. it up. Sew it up. So you could make these as little pillows, little, just stuff them and make little toys. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily have to put the potpourri in it. Dimensional hairstyles. That's gorgeous. That's like art, art, different art. Mm -hmm. So it's just line drawing. But if you look here, it's raised, like the flowers are raised. So that's what makes it dimensional. That's pretty. Those flowers are amazing. So you could just use the flowers if you uh, needed it for something. Yep. Mm, that's cool. That's cool how it's done. Yep. And then you put them together. Well, cool. Yeah, see the flowers are separate. Separate because I think they're really pretty. You could make, you know what you could do? You could stitch this out and cut it out like you're supposed to, and you could glue it onto a barrette so you could do real life this. See what I mean? And wear it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, easily, because that would, depending on the size, I don't even know what the size, but that's what I see, and I think that would be really cool on a barrette. Yeah, it would. Groovy hair. And uh, we're just about at the end. Awesome. That's clever. I really do love the flowers. That is really neat. All right, then there is all of your pieces, all the instructions, step-by-step -step sort of thing. And of course, whoops, your CD at the back. So you just have to load that up. Everything on the CD is what's in here, all of the designs. So that awesome. was awesome. Here is the back of it, because people like to see that. It's a summary of everything in it. Um, that's amazing. That is so much fun. I really like these. I think we should start on this. Yeah, the I like fish. To do the aquarium. I I think it's really neat. I am gonna definitely try this puffy puffy foam crazy quilt. I think that's amazing, and I always love lettering. I'll find a place to put lettering, and you know maybe something punny here and there. Oh, you think you're so punny, don't you? I am punny, honey. <laughs> For sure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is a fantastic, absolutely fantastic um, issue. Now, I wanted to point out a lot of people question just before we go. I just wanted to point this out. The all access, if you pay for it monthly, this is what you get. You get the book and the CD and every single design in here, except for the coming soon ones. But if you don't have all access and say you really like, you know, one set, let's let's pick one that we can look at. So if you really like the puffy foam, you can go and just buy that, just that set. You don't have to buy the whole thing. So if you see something that you really like, you know, this Anita's Playhouse is fantastic. Um, go to Anita Good Design Online. I think, too, the month that it's released, they give you 20% off, too. So if you don't want the whole thing, 
you can go and get what parts um, that you want. You just go on their website and it's on the front page. I just wanted to point that out. Personally, I love the book. I love the book. I take them upstairs when, you know, we're watching TV or whatnot. And, you know, it's good inspiration. Everything's so bright and you know, it's, I just love looking through them. I, I wish I was a member right from the beginning because then I'd have a whole bookcase of it. But it just, it inspires you. Okay, we can do, you know, one of these and check it out. Or you can think about, you know, changing colors or because, mm -hmm. you know, you might want to do this in, in different kind of like turquoisey, bluey green colors and how that would look. So I find them really inspirational and it gives me ideas of things to do. And that is why I love the books. It's also a lovely surprise when you get it in the mail. There's so much to do. And so always, many designs. Always a good book. Yeah, there's something that you can do in every every single one. You know, even if you don't have the plastics for this, stitch it out and make it into a patch and sew it on something. And I think these are brilliant. So, yeah, there's lots more you can do. Even if you're not all access, you can check out the designs and download them. When you download them, they will come with instructions that you can print out. Not a book. They don't send you a book. But... Uh, you get full instructions and all the information that you need. So, yeah, if you only like one or two, just get one or two. Yeah, cool. they're fantastic designs and, you know, projects, and they'll stitch out wonderfully. So thanks, everyone, for watching. Did you enjoy this issue? I like the monkey. You like the monkey. Okay, Dawn is going to go stitch a monkey. So thanks, everyone, for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.